I got a box. And I'm very excited about this box. Uh, I sort of knew it was coming by a comment the other day. But uh, brother, you're right. I almost needed a forklift. That 65 pounds is what it says on here. I think it's more than that. I was out here etching blades. The mail lady pulled up and blew the horn in front of the shop because she knows when I get a heavy box, it's for the shop. So <laughs> I almost didn't get it in the door, man. This thing is heavy. Now, I know what's in it, I think, but I'm going to... Let's go ahead and open it. Covered up your address there. Oh, would you look at this? Got a, it's a little dusty. Let's see, take a look at that. Let me read this note right quick. Yes, sir, Paul. I will definitely take care of that for you. And I read your comment this morning. Where'd it go? No, sir, you cannot buy that, but I will send you that. Okay, Tommy Hawk's gone. These are steel plates off of, uh, I believe it said, off an old combine that is, Lord knows who, who knows how old it is, but they are a just about perfect thickness. Some are a little thicker than the others. But this one's a little thicker than that one. Absolutely perfect. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. And, man, that's just, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Now, that gives me way plenty material for a good while because I was starting to get low on big this. Uh, saw blades and disc and things like this So that's cool very cool now I'll take these about three at a time Out back and hang them up where I hang all my stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna try to carry the whole box out there Thank you. Thank you. Thank you And after the post office <laughs> after they delivered this that one this box, you know, whatever you can cram in there while well, with one price, they might change their policy after that. But, uh, <laughs> now, the stuff I showed yesterday, everything is gone except the Wallace One. I mean, the not the Wallace One, the file knife. Still got it. The one with the fire kit and all that. Still got that one. Whoever wants this one, after I get it cleaned up and sharpened, uh, let's go ahead and price it. Let's say 50 bucks. I'll pay the shipping and I'll send you the blocky Ulu. Go with it. How about that? And the squirrel cooker I still got. Uh, Y'all know how these things work. Okay, let me show you that quick. What you do. Stick this down next to your fire. Like that. Just to make sure you can see it. That's sticking in the fire. And you can take your squirrel, rabbit, piece of meat, whatever you want to. When I sharpen these, 
and you stick it on there and just cook it over the fire. If you look way back in my videos, I've got one of um of mine. I've got mine in a in a little bag in my pouch in my not my pouch, my uh, backpack. Well, I demonstrate how to do it, how to cook the squirrel on it, actually cooking the squirrel on it, and then you can turn it around this way, and you got you can hang a pot over the fire. Well, you have to turn it around like this. Somehow like that. Well, I'm so excited about that box, I'm telling you. <laughs> There you go, like that. That way you can hang a pot over the fire with that hook. Anyway, that's what that's for. And we'll put that one at... Uh, Got to be a bigger box. Probably take about $10 to ship it. $30. Bucks, $30. Whoever wants it can have it. How about that? All right, once again, thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. I like that. That's a cool box. All right, let me get back to my blade etching here and get some of y'all stuff finished up for you. And I really appreciate the comments. I appreciate uh, Ronald. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Let me show you something. One more thing. I didn't show a big, a long look at this. Fix the blade edge with the big fillet knife. And uh, let me know if you think that's going to be what you wanted. A smaller handle. I've got some uh, some really nice wood I think that's going to look good on there. Left these teeth on here. You can cut bone if you need to, or you can scale. That's the main thing for it to scale. And you want a 10 inch blade. That's 10 inch. Let's see if I can show you here. We'll have some flex to it. Now y'all know I've said it a thousand times. I don't like flex, but no matter what I like, it's what you want. So it'll have some flex to it. <coughs> Alright, let me get that etched. I'm going to upload this right quick first. It won't take but a minute. That is cool. Thank you, Paul. And I will see y'all again in a day or two.